Welcome to Hockey Us. The next skill we're going to do is we're going to work on the breakout. A lot of kids and a lot of adults need help on the breakout. They have a lot of questions. A lot of wingers have trouble getting the puck out on the boards on the breakout. The first thing that you need to know is you need to keep your feet moving when you're coming back to get in position, okay? You also, you should try to open up to the guy giving you the pass. You open up to the defender giving you the pass. What this does is it makes you see the whole ice. So when you're coming down, you're looking at him, you see the whole ice, and you're less likely to get knocked, knocked down from a defender pinching on the blue line, because you're gonna see him coming. The other thing, when you catch the pass, you wanna try to keep your feet moving when you catch it. If you can't, that's fine, but you gotta get rid of the puck quick, and you gotta step off the wall, all right? If you don't step off the wall, you're leaving yourself in a position where you're gonna get hit, okay? If you step off the wall, it also, it gives you more options. If I step off the wall, if I catch a pass here, and I step off the wall, now I can touch it to my center, I can chip it off the glass out of the zone, I can give a boards pass to the guys cutting across into the neutral zone, and if I start moving forward, I can beat the D here or to the wall. When I stay on the wall, the boards pass isn't gonna work. It's more difficult to get it up the glass. I can still touch it to the center, but if I carry the puck, all the D has to do is angle me into the wall and they're gonna keep the puck in the zone and rub me off the puck, all right? So those are some things you gotta worry about when you're doing this, okay? Also, when the center comes across, if he's not open, you have to have your head up and look. Don't pass it to him. Too many guys try to make the pass when the guy's not open, okay? And if there's guys on you quick, if you got guys on you quick, catch the puck, protect it against the wall, okay? Just protect it against the wall. You see a guy coming quick, catch it, protect, take the hit, then worry about getting it out. It's more important that you protect the puck than, than turn it over and you know get a play because you're trying to do something fancy or trying to do something that's not there, all right? So we're gonna go through it a couple times on this side, doing a couple scenarios, okay? And then we're gonna go on the other side, all right? So watch. So I'm covering my point guy. My defenseman gains possession of the puck. I gotta come down and get in position. I'm gonna come down. I open up to him. I'm here. I can touch it to him, and we're going. Now I did it in slow motion so you'd see it. But notice, I opened up to him. I caught the pass on my backhand because I'm on my off wing, okay? And then I passed it back to him. But first I looked at him to make sure nobody was on him, okay? You can do a simple touch pass, but not if the guy's not up to you yet. Because if you just touch it to an open area of the ice in the D zone, it's more likely to get picked off, okay? Now I didn't come off the boards enough. I should have came off more. I was doing it in slow motion, but the reason we come off the boards is that we gotta make that defense think twice before he pinches. Because if you're off the boards and he pinches, you got a lot more options. So now watch, we're gonna do it again, okay? So I'm covering the point, play transitions. I come down, I open up, I catch it, I move off the wall, I can chip it out of the zone. That's what I'm doing if the defenseman pinches. I'm chipping it off the glass, out of the zone. If you just chip it off the wall on the ice, there's a good chance it'll hit his stick and it'll keep it in. If you got nothing there to pass to, get it up the glass, get it up the glass high and get it out of the zone. That's your first priority is getting it out of this zone and getting it into the neutral zone. You play zone to zone, all right? Now watch, this time I'm gonna protect it on the wall. There's nothing open, I'm gonna protect it on the wall. I come down, I open up, I protect it. I take the hit, the puck's in my feet, my stick's on the ice. The biggest issue I have with wingers keeping the puck here is they get their stick like this up in the air, and even if they do gain possession, the guy's gonna take it from them because their stick's not on the ice. Get your stick here. You can protect the puck better with it, and you can use it as leverage. If the guy pins you, you can push off the wall and get rid of the puck, okay? Now, this time I'm gonna give him a boards pass. I'm gonna step off the wall, slide it to the guy, and he's right out of the zone. Right, so watch. I'm open on my forehand, I come off the wall, I pass it, and he's gone. Now yes, that was a basic pass that wouldn't work. I'm just trying to show everyone how you do it, how you want to do it, how you want to come off the wall. Normally that pass is going to be a lot harder and it's going to be to a guy coming across. Okay? Now we're going to go to the other side, all right? Same scenario. This is my strong side, so I'm going to be on my forehand. Notice the entire time I can see 
the guy with the puck, and my stick is ready for a pass the entire time. Watch. I come down, my stick's ready, I catch, I touch, we're gone. Okay? Too many coaches try a breakout right away with the team and they haven't broken it down enough. You have to break the breakout down and do one step at a time. Once you can get this pass taken care of, then you can add in all five guys. All right, so watch again. I come down, I'm ready, get it. Give a boards pass, send them down the ice. Okay? Now I'm gonna chip it up the wall. All right? This is good, there's no glass here, so I have to be aware of that, and I have to try to hit the glass and not shoot it into the bench. All right, so now watch. I come down, I come off the wall, and it's out. Right off the glass on my backhand, okay? Now I'm gonna protect the puck, all right? So watch. I come down, I open up, I catch it, I gotta protect it because some guy's coming on me. Push, get rid of the puck, okay? Now, two more things. I'm gonna show you a trick that I do when I'm on my strong side that may help some of you. If you have no pressure on you, you wanna get the puck off the wall quicker and move up ice, and the defenseman wraps it, what I suggest doing is when you come around and you see he's gonna wrap it, don't open up, continue on, catch it on your backhand while you're moving up ice, and you don't even have to stop skating. It's a good trick, it works for me, it might work for you, I don't know, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna, we're gonna work on is a lot of guys who do move their feet and curled low, they keep moving and they get out of position. The defenseman never passes it, and they end up halfway down the ice. So. If my defenseman doesn't pass it, once I get to about the hash marks, up to about 10 feet higher, I gotta stop. I have to stop and stay in my position. Because if I go out of the zone, he's not gonna have any options and there's gonna be a turnover. So watch, if I'm the strong side forward, I open up, there's no pass coming. I get here, I gotta stop and wait for it. Then the pass comes, then I can send the breakout going. Okay? Too many guys leave the zone. You already got your weak side wing leaving the zone on most teams, so you don't need your strong side wing leaving the zone, okay? So, this is a very important skill to learn, all right? It's difficult for a lot of people at every age, okay? Midgets, juniors still have trouble with this, all right? But this could be the difference between winning and losing a game, winning and losing a game, because if, if too many guys on your team have trouble getting the puck out of the zone, you're gonna have the puck stuck in your zone a long time, and it's gonna be really difficult. All right, thanks for visiting Hockey Us.